next one is maybe my favorite one. Um, and it's called PhotoStream. And it's going to bring the cloud to photos. How many times have we taken photos on our iPhone, maybe of our kids in the afternoon, and wanted, when we got home, to share them on an iPad and have to go through the process of moving them over? Wouldn't it be great if by the time I got home they were already there on the iPad? Well, that's what PhotoStream is going to do for us across all of our devices. So again, I take photos on any device, puts it in the camera roll, and that will be automatically uploaded to the cloud where it's stored and automatically downloaded to all my other devices, including, in this case, a Mac. And so I've got my photos on my iPad just waiting for me when I get home. Now, in addition, I can import photos. Right into iPhoto as an example on the Mac. It'll upload those to the cloud and do exactly the same thing with them by pushing them down to all my other devices. So it's apps that I, it's photos that I take or photos that I import. And we've built this right into the apps. I, I hope you've seen that as we've gone through this. We've built this right into the app, so there's nothing new to learn. So PhotoStream on the iPad's photo app, we built it right in, right next to albums. We have a button called PhotoStream. You push it, and you're looking at the PhotoStream. It's that simple. There's not a separate app that you have to go learn. It's right there in your Photos app. It's right there in your Photos app on your iPhone. It's just right there with all your other albums. There you go, PhotoStream. On the, Mac, on the Mac, we built it right into iPhoto. And so it's right there on the side, your photo stream. And on a PC, they don't have a Photos app. So we use the Pictures folder, right? In addition to that, we've even built it in to Apple TV. So Apple TV. Apple TV talks directly over the internet, directly to, to the photo stream servers. Doesn't even go through your PC. Talks directly to the photo stream servers, so you can watch the photos right on your Apple TV. So, one of the problems we faced was that we'll, photos are large and will use up all the memory on your devices. They're also large. They'll consume vast amounts of storage in our server farms. So we've come up with a great scheme. We're going to store photos on your devices. We're going to store the last 1,000 photos. Right? We'll store the last 1,000. And any photos you want to keep permanently, just move them into an album, and they'll stay forever. But they'll be parading by you the last 1,000 photographs. On your Mac or PC, because we have more storage, we'll store all of them. You can get rid of them by just deleting them, but we'll store all of them. And on the server, we'll store them for 30 days, which is more than enough time for all your devices to connect and automatically download those photos. So we think we've got a great system here that's going to move our photos around among all of our devices, even Apple TV, so that when I take a photo anywhere, I can view it on all my other devices.